Hi, Ali. Ali K. Vanessa Smart. You are the precious stone in my heart. Miss Baba. Um, words can't explain how I feel about you guys. And, uh, Janelle, Calvin, Manessa, Smart. Uh, I'm sorry for what I did to you as a, as a, as a, as a baby. Um, I've done many horrible things. I've done a lot of bad stuff, but, you know, mistreating you as a baby or getting mad at you as a child, as a baby again, because you cried so much, um, that's really one of the worst things I've ever done. Uh, in this world I live today, it's a lot different from where I was raised yesterday and um, yeah I just uh, a lot of genocide is what it's called a lot of genocide and uh, I don't know how to explain really in depth of what goes on with me or things around me People call me the devil. People call me overcome. But really I'm just I'm just a troubled kid. I was bullied. A lot of depression and I seem to get very anxious when a lot of bad things go on around me. I tend to want to escape from everything and I thought I thought that overcoming was controlling trying to control something or trying to I don't know be stronger be better or something but that's really not the point it's not what it is Ali you know you know there have been many many times where I try to get you guys brought over to your grandma grandma's house or over here where I'm at now and a lot of a lot of times I've been declined uh, for whatever reason. If I would have known things I knew today, I wouldn't have had you guys being raised where you are. You know. Well, this started about five years ago. You know, it was an eye opener. It was an eye opener. I thought I thought it was an eye opener when I would hear I would hear the word I would hear the word slash a lot. I'd hear the word rape. I'd hear the word. Well, slash and rape were really it in the beginning. Then it went to love yourself. I confused. Um, and then it was walking. What? Uh, I again, I have no recall, or I don't even know what the hell. 
you know. Even even when I was on the street before this homeless, before I would hear them making remarks of this, uh, walking stuff. Even before that, I was already walking. You know, I was already walking the streets all night or whatever. I was already, you know, without. But the more they would tell me to do this, the less I'd do it because I'm not gonna feed into that. Uh, again, oh, I'm not gonna like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it kiddos to you guys. Hopefully once you're old enough, I'm just trying to make you guys understand why I'm not gonna be there. kind of setting myself up, you know, but I mean, everywhere I go, I'm walking into a trap, that's how I feel, I'm walking into a trap, I'm walking into lost memories, or something like that, I don't even know what to call it, um, you know, and this is wherever I go. Um, I'm sorry I try to love myself or I try to understand or I, I thought I understand I guess I really had the whole controversy of this whole thing really flipped you know really all flipped on me because uh, at first I thought I was doing good I thought they wanted me to do all that, you know? I thought they, well, at least it seemed like it, or I don't know. After I, I can't really talk about it, you know? Um, how do I, but guys, don't be scared. I would, I wouldn't want you guys to be, end up just as I am. Um, full of fear, anxiety, hearing all this, seeing people, you know, it's like I'm being cornered, you know, that's what it is, they're just cornering me, and um, I'm hoping that you guys don't have to go through the same just because you're my children, you know? Uh, but of course, you guys are, you know, you guys are owned by the government, kind of, or owned by Ms. Sanders, who takes money from the government, and, uh, uh, well, I've always worried about you guys. I, I don't, I guess I don't worry enough about guys I would love to raise you guys I'd love to raise you guys I think that would be like what's the best for me I just haven't made the right choices in life for myself or for you guys it's kind of what this video is about I just haven't made the right choices for you guys, being my children. Um, I should have been with you guys every weekend, you know. Um, I have a job now. I just got this job at KFC, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping to save up some money. Um, you know, I've never had more than like 2,000, you know, in a bank account. It's kind of sad. Um, but as you know, your mother, she runs through money like pretty fast. And uh, saving up money was kind of hard for me when I was with her. Uh,
I shouldn't have listened to her either. I shouldn't have listened to her. I should have attended those meetings. I should have, should have not moved in with her family. I should have stayed with mine. I probably would have, you guys would have probably been in our custody. But you know, I'm a very dimwit and I get easily influenced. Um, you know, you're very easily, I'm, I'm easily, I'm easily, easily manipulated by feelings, emotions, and you know, I was easily manipulated by your mother, uh, by anyone really, but, uh, main thing don't be scared one thing I taught you guys ever since you guys could walk is shake it off and keep going shake it off and keep going you know just dust yourself off you know keep going try again uh, in my world that is possible or it's it's okay, you know. It's all right. Uh, but you guys are the best thing that's ever happened to me, really. And Allie, you're so smart. I can't believe I can't believe the day when I went to go visit you guys, and then you guys, Allie, just started talking like bad, bad questions, questions, and questions. And I was like, dang, how am I gonna? What am I gonna say? What am I gonna say? But I'm an honest person. You know what I mean? I'm an honest person. I was always honest with you guys. I was always honest with your mother too. Uh, you know, and uh, I was always trying to be honest with you guys. One heck of a kid, you know that. <laughs> you're strong. You're fast. But you know, you're. There are gonna be times when you're gonna have a choice to make. I made the wrong choices. Uh, I made the wrong choices always make the wrong choices and now that I see this now that I try to correct myself um, I just get stuck and I don't know what to do but if I get up I feel like I'm just gonna not be able to shake myself off from what I from when I shake get up you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I shouldn't be laughing because it's not something. It's not funny. None of this is funny. Um, do I look like? I thought I looked like Slash, honestly. I thought I did. And I thought. Dang, that's my freaking. That's my biological father. I was like, woo, you know, singing. I love to sing. I love to sing. It's how I get through the day. It's how I get through my days. Uh, I don't know. I just grew up confused, I guess. I grew up confused. Not knowing which way to go having no direction I kind of wish I had a mentor or something 
I don't know. My family did the best raising me for who I am. Um, they still accept me who I am. And the choices I make, they try to try to understand, I guess, and tell me to keep my head up. It's hard to keep my head up now. You know, um, yeah, you know, Calvin, Manessas, Smart, and Ali K, Manessas, Smart, you two, you two need to get your bread up okay you need to get your bread up something that someone told me when i was like 18 get your bread up get your bread up i didn't listen to that person and that's why i'm in the situation i am now um you guys need to get your bread up keep it up there all right I'm Christopher Manessis Gichap. Okay, kiddos? And hopefully I'll see you guys again. Even after, you know, heaven, after hell, or whatever happens after we pass away. Uh, I'm not going to say I love you guys because you guys already know that. You guys already know that. Shit. Every time I'm with you guys, I just feel, you know, I feel. You guys are my overcome. You know what I'm saying? You, That's you guys. So. Yeah, kids. Children. My children. You guys aren't kids, you guys are childs, children. You guys are Ali and Bunel. Alrighty. <laughs>